color of gold more valuable than gold the indispensable blood of industrial man crude oil this is incomparable pennsylvania crude thundering from the famous bradford allegheny fields the finest and most costly crude oil in the world a unique product of nature's golden touch When nature plays chemist, her works tower above man's. Here she blended heat, pressure, the waste of ocean life, and above all, time. And she made a treasure. For a century, men have pounded their drill bits into this soil, cut through rock, dulled their cutting tools and tried again, and have been lavishly rewarded. The land still flows with oil for our industrial age. The refinery, tall towers and stacks above the city of Bradford, Pennsylvania. Here you add heat to the golden crude to draw from it all of its rich parts the fractions, one part cylinder stock, a major part motor oil and lubricant base stocks, more lubricant stocks per barrel than any other crude, one part fuel oil, one part kerosene, then naphtha and gasoline. The fractions you work with separately, but above all, you concentrate on the lubricant stocks, the raw material of motor oils, grease, hydraulic fluids, industrial lubricants, oil for sewing machines, and anything else that moves. Bradford Allegheny is a paraffin based crude oil, a significant sign of its quality, but wax is not a lubricant, and so you take it out in a propane de-waxer operating at 50 degrees below zero. The wax will become dinner candles or a sealer for jellies and canned peaches, pure wax from the golden crude. Resins are a natural part of the crude. These you remove and use in certain valuable products. And so it goes. Out come certain hydrocarbons, molecules of the family which make up the crude, but not good for lubrication. In this phenol extraction plant, the black sheep are separated from the family. The silent silver refinery is a huge chemical laboratory, a pattern of pipes and towers which deal with flowing crude oil on a vast scale and still separate one molecule from another with incredible precision. Where there is a chemical laboratory, there you will find chemists. The chemist has many roles in this modern refinery. It is his task to control quality. Every hour, he takes samples from the pipes and towers and tests the products flowing through the refinery. If an adjustment is needed to maintain high quality, he sees that it is made in plenty of time. The uniformity of a unique crude source makes the quality control chemist's job easier than his counterpart working with asphaltic and mixed based crude oil. The golden crude of the Bradford Allegheny fields hasn't changed its makeup in the slightest since the day it was discovered. The role of the chemist goes beyond the control of quality into the future, into continuous research with the golden crude. Here is research in the practical world of automotive lubricants. Moving swiftly along a highway of magnetic tape, the electronic memory of a trip once taken by an engine mounted in an automobile. New York to Chicago, non-stop. Minnesota to Miami, never moving from the test block. Running the open road, 70 miles an hour. Now slowing down at a crossroad town. Stopping at the town's one proud red light. Accelerate. City limits, 40, 50, 60, back on the open road, 4,000 revolutions per minute, 32,000 pounding explosions per minute, 32,000 times a bearing tightens on its lubricant. The oil seals the explosive forces within the combustion chamber and helps cool the hottest areas in the engine. A demanding test of a motor oil, but 
just the beginning. When you want to improve the motor oil made from the golden crude, you go to the open road, put the oil in the crankcase of any vehicle which will give it a beating, put it in trucks, in school buses, delivery trucks, earth moving equipment, private automobiles, cars in competition, special test cars that run the rugged trails of the nation. You take the lubricant from those crankcases and study it. And from a pattern made by an emission spectrograph, you learn what has happened to the oil in service. From a myriad of such chemical tests, you learn still more. There are reasons why research is continuous with the golden crude of the Bradford Allegheny Fields. For more than 80 years, scientists at this refinery have studied this one unchanging crude oil until it is the best understood crude in the world. And after 80 years, they admit that nature has given them a maze to follow, a seemingly endless track of molecular structures, of possibilities and promise. They have in their hands the crude oil with the highest known level of chemical stability, a crude which naturally resists oxidation and every other form of chemical reaction. Lubricants refined from it possess an exceptionally high natural viscosity index. They flow freely when cold and maintain body when hot. Through research and modern processes, you can make their viscosity index even better, far better than other oils because the golden crude has given you a head start. You research continuously, adding man's unique golden touch to nature's. Above all, you research because your customer, the automotive engine, is getting more demanding every year, a process that started not too many years ago. When you had less than 100 mighty horses under your hood, you owned an impressive piece of machinery. That low horsepower engine had plenty of zip. 50 miles an hour on the open road, all the engine had to do was move the car and scatter the chickens. And you might get 25,000 miles or so before you had to tear her down for an overhaul. But oh, how times have changed. Today, your engine may have two or 300 horsepower or more. It makes the car move and scatters the chickens, but it also powers the steering the brakes, the driver's seat, the automatic transmission, and maybe the windows, the air conditioner, the radio aerial, the windshield wiper, brake lights bright enough to flag a train, and even the backseat television set. It will carry you along at 70 miles an hour and may go 75,000 or even 100,000 miles before needing an overhaul. That's progress, and it's not hard to find the source. Thank Detroit, the automotive engineer, and thank the lubricants that make it possible, because those old 100 horsepower low compression oils would never do the job today. Automotive engineers have steadily increased their compression ratios from the old 6 and 7 to 1 up beyond 10 to 1 and moving toward a goal of 12 to 1. And every time the compression ratio goes up, so do lubrication problems. Higher compression means more heat, more problems with glowing hot spots that cause pre-ignition. Then add hydraulic valve lifters and ask your oil to operate them, cool them, from temperatures reaching 300 degrees Fahrenheit and keep them clean. Add another problem that grows larger with high compression, impurities in the crankcase, the hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, alcohols, aldehydes, soot, and other substances which attack oil in any car, but which can devastate the engine of a car that runs cold, making short trips to the store and back. 
In an engine running hard on the turnpike, heat is the enemy of steel and oil. In an engine moving slowly through town, the crankcase can become a chemist's nightmare. The engine oil must solve all that. That's why in lubrication research, you go out on the road. You run engines round the clock, week after week in the laboratory. You call on all the chemist's art. And because you've started with the crude oil with the golden touch, the unique treasure of Pennsylvania, you develop the first motor oil which will handle both heat and chemicals. The oil that will flow freely when cold and maintain its body when very hot. And you call it a multi-grade motor oil, useful from Alaska to Florida for hot turnpike speeds and cold stop and go city driving. When you do all this, no one is really surprised. After all, you had a head start on the rest of the world, the golden crude. Then you go back to your research laboratories, to the engine tests and chemical analyses, and you develop other products. A motor oil that will lubricate and protect the modern engine for six months without an oil change. A special oil developed for high performance and competition engines. All firsts in their field, a challenge to non-Pennsylvania crude oils. Research is a continuous activity. It develops fluids for rugged automatic transmissions. Overheat transmission fluid and you may cut 100,000 miles of life to a matter of minutes. Research is directed toward lessening such heat problems. Research moves ahead on gear lubricants and greases, often using techniques borrowed from nuclear science. Always, improved formulas are being developed, years before the engine, the gear, or the bearing that need them are brought to the market. In fact, these research scientists are well acquainted with engines now on the drawing boards that we will not buy for years, but already their lubricants are being developed from the golden crude. So valuable is this crude oil that today men are going to extraordinary lengths to retrieve it from the Bradford Allegheny fields. The first oil from these fields flowed freely but slowly. For years, a secondary method has been in use. Water pumped in from all sides of a well, forcing oil toward the center where it can be pumped to the surface. But even this method has left about half of the golden crude in the earth. And so today, research moves forward in still another field called tertiary recovery, seeking new methods of forcing the crude toward the pumping wells. Such experimentation is promising, but expensive, and yet it goes on. The crude from these fields has long been the most costly in the marketplace, but has always found its buyers because there isn't anything like it anywhere else in the world. Golden Bradford Allegheny crude oil is an uncommon find among nature's treasures. Whatever lubrication needs the future may bring, the golden crude will fill them from two-cycle engines to the turbines now being tested, from internal combustion to principles not yet discovered. If it moves, the lubricants drawn from this crude, improved by painstaking research, will play a role. No crude oil is better understood, and yet we are just beginning to understand it. All we know as certain is that there are no limits to the possibilities with the crude oil that has nature's golden touch.